So today we're going to dig a bit deeper on scheduling process and uh, when I talk about that everybody's probably imagining you get your little diary 9am I'm doing this, 10am I'm doing this, 11am I'm doing this and, and that's great, that definitely works if you are a robot and have no emotions in your head, you're just going to take them all off things work usually in specific ways so for example i need to do a lot of things and i focus on one thing at a time I, like this morning i had a i had a chat with my uh, one of my mentors and then my web developer and uh, so we went through some systems and how to do things easier way and uh, so for me most important thing was just to have that chat with these two people and for the rest of the day i'm pretty happy like I've known I've done two most important things. Everything else I do now is bonus. So I kind of ticked off the most important things that fulfill you, that give you most results. Everything else is just secondary. So what we oftentimes do when we get stressed out, we try to do something that's giving us quick results. So when I went to university, for example, I would come home and I would not start studying unless my car house would be completely like spotless. Why I would do that, I never understood until now. And that gives you just uh, instant satisfaction. And that's it. So you're like, okay, I've done this, now I can do something else. Whereas if I would start studying, I would not be able to focus because I feel like there's too much pressure or maybe I can do something else or, you know, maybe play video games, do this, call that guy, check my Instagram. So it, it just distracts you a lot. Uh, so, but that's that's another story, and um, we're gonna go back into like how people per perceive their scheduling plan and what they can actually do about it. So, yes, writing down what you need to do is a great thing, but then you need to understand that you should never beat yourself up if you don't do everything that you have on that plan, and you can group it all and you can make it much more easier and simple. But main things I would focus on when you start it. Write down what you think you need to do, what you're gonna get out of it, and what emotions are you creating from that. Because this last thing is the main driver of anything we do. We don't go out with our friends to get drunk. We get out to get certain type of emotions. We don't start dating someone to just go for a meal and have just meaningless chat. We crave some kind of emotions. You don't apply to a specific job to work more. You go there because you know whatever you do there will gonna give you some kind of emotions at the end, whether it's making more money so you can travel more frequently or just being in a workplace that challenges you mentally and so you, you're you always craving emotions. You, you're never craving, craving material things. So that's you, you just need to learn that, that. Once you recognize that, then you can kind of reverse engineer what needs to be done to get there and I could probably go deeper about how to switch your emotions on and off as well but uh, I'm not going to touch on that <laughs> I'm very good at switching off my emotions anyway so let's imagine you're locked down at home and you have a child or whatnot so most of the cases you will have to clean up house every single day that's, that's just given so then you'll have to do some home homeschooling, maybe go for a walk or cook something or whatnot. So all that, uh, I would speculate that it's driven to to do something with a kid. So you would like to create like create gross targeted minds and environment with your child, which gives you emotion of connection in a much deeper level with your with your family. So you can get this by just doing one of these together that's it you you achieved your to do so that's when you can kind of steer away and not be so stressed about that you haven't done every single bit because you achieved your emotion anyway so and then you can kind of see okay this was the easiest part let's build from that from, from this point onwards same with the fitness, everyone is just struggling, like I can't wake up, I can't drink my water, I don't want to have my meals. And my clients are just a nightmare at the moment. <laughs> no, I love them to bits. At the moment they have become so honest because they know that I'm going to cause them out of their bullshit because it's just so obvious to me. I've done it for 15 or something years. 
since I was like this big and uh, I know what works and what doesn't work and most of the time it's not my strategy it's a person behind the strategy and uh, it's often my fault if I can't get them to see that so I'm still learning so don't be too harsh on me <laughs> so if you wanna if you have plan you're gonna go for a run work out plan your meals then prepare yourself for a better sleep all those kind of things so result is just to get yourself better fitness wise so you want a better health overall emotion is that you just want to feel powerful and just have fun with stuff so i had a girl uh, i will lie about age uh, i rarely ask women their age so uh, she was early 30s and uh, she wanted to work out not because she wanted to lose weight or whatever she physically could not get involved in holidays that all her friends wanted to go to so that was extremely physically active skiing swimming all those kind of things she was slightly overweight and she felt that every time she went somewhere there she got extremely exhausted really quick and then she would just feel like she's holding everyone else back because if she wasn't doing things they would kind of like, oh, let's do something different instead of like, yeah, let's have a lot of fun. So that was her motivation. So that was her emotion. Just she wanted to feel part of, of her friends and make sure that she is not the one that's holding them back from having the best time of their lives. So which is quite powerful. When you realize that everything you do, once you get to a certain emotion you get from your activities, uh, you will become less stressed and it's just everything changes uh, and your to-do lists they can actually be grouped and done much, in much more efficient ways than you used to now because if you keep writing your I need to do this you need to do that I need to do this you keep you just look at that and you feel like so overwhelmed that you most of the time just don't do anything and then you come up with excuse like uh, I'm just a mess oh, I just didn't have time oh. all those things can be cancelled out and rest assured you're never gonna be 100% on it but even if you do 20% of the most important things so one of these things to get this your, your day is just great and if you're feeling great every single day sooner or later you're gonna want to do more that's just given rather than having a lot of to-do lists and then you miss one and you feel like oh fuck this shit I, I don't feel like doing anything and it keeps stacking up stacking up stacking up day after day you feel more miserable more miserable more miserable till you end up doing absolutely jack shit and and just being like a horrible person to be around so don't be one of those people uh, let me know if this has been helpful at all and uh, it helped me a lot but the thing is I'm only tapping and really really just surface bit of what you should be doing but start with writing down what you need to do in your own head what you think you need to do and then try to extrapolate the result you're trying to get from those actions and then try to dig in what emotions are those actions giving me because if you have it to down written down on I need to do this there is something in your head that is triggering that you're either chasing an emotion or trying to avoid some kind of emotion so for example you need to clean up house you're trying to avoid feeling miserable or in, in your own environment because it's just dirty and things all over the place and there's no structure and you know like I'll wake up every single morning I'll, I'll have a shave I'll shower all this kind of stuff not because I want to go somewhere or whatnot it just makes me feel good same as everything else so let me know what you think and uh, if anything I'll, I'll carry on next one I think there was scheduling I need to have a look <laughs> I need to cover two more things I'll do it probably in a couple of days or maybe next week and uh, yeah let, let me know if this is useful and I'll keep keep doing these have a good day